Hey guys, uh, this is Best Yasuo Russia, but that is not my name on this, it's decent. That's my normal name. And also, as a start, this video is being recorded at 1.57 a.m., so sorry, I cannot be loud. And also, this will be somewhat of a tutorial video, if you say so, about this game, because it is very new, and it is also still in beta. I'm also very new at this game, so I will be learning this hero as we go along. And alright, your number one ability is your, you know, your weapon. Like, I have a staff. My auto is just a slow moving lightning projectile from my staff, and it uses mana. And now when I press R, is chain lightning. A bolt of lightning explodes from Cygnus' staff. It strikes the first target and does massive damage and leaps to nearby targets in range. Alright, and now all these are my traps. Pounder, basically just pounds people, you know. Arrow walls again. What it sounds like? It's up here. Right there. All right, that was some lag. Hope we don't have any of that anymore. Get a ton of these. This will be my spike trap. Actually, I can't show any. But that is a spike trap. In every hero, as my understanding, has a trap to their own. Number five, buff pylon, increases the damage output of nearby traps. And also, the concept of this game is that there are two defensive lanes and two offensive lanes. In one second. I'll tell you about that after we fight them here. These are the minions that are attacking us. These are why we put up the defenses. The defenses are not for the heroes that are attacking us, the enemy heroes. Although there are uh, defenses for them. And Jesus Christ is champion. Is very, very squishy and very weak. I did not know that going into this. A perfect fit. All right, let's. The things on the right are my tier one upgrades. It goes up to tier four, which is level eight. You get one every other level, and I'm level two now. And I can get assisted walking, which is movement speed, conductive materials, which is that sneaky old fart. <laughs> Sneaky old fart, which is the control effects, and I'm going to take T plus 10% movement speed. And alright, so the concept of this game is so I'll go in, I'll go in mouse button here. Crude, there are two defensive lanes. This is the defensive lane that is generally opened first, and so we all set up and defend this lane. And this is another defensive lane that generally comes in later on when the second war camp is opened. These are the offensive lanes, and this is the inverted version of the lane I'm in, right here. And this is where this offensive lane is trying to get through. And this is our other offensive lane, which is the inverted version of this. And it takes leadership points to upgrade and open the war camps, which is this, 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 and this. And I'll talk more about it later. Alright, now we're basically just auto-attacking all of these minions and trying not to let them kill our guardian, and if they do kill our guardian, we have a gate. And we also have two more guardians behind this guardian. They actually just added a, another guardian to this lane. And to, you know, the other lane. Alright. Now, I'm gonna... Oh, he closed the gate on me. And also, this is a bot game. The reason this is a bot game is because no one's really playing right now. This game, as I said, is very new and it's not very popular. Oh, sorry, excuse me. And so this is this is a board camp and this is how you open it. You have to spend leadership. So I just spent a thousand. My leadership is this uh, yellow fist thing. And above it are my coins, which I use to purchase my traps. Below it is the trap cap. You can only have a certain amount of traps on your team. And we are nowhere near it, so I don't need to worry about anything. Alright, I'm gonna place some more traps down so that hopefully they can't break through our defenses. And I have ran out of coins. Alright. So. What was I on about? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk about the end game. The end game is this is our base, it's called a rift, and they have one too. And when one of the offensive lanes breaks through the final gate and kills the final guardian, you know, if the their minions go into their rift, like, okay, let's see our minions broke through the gate, and we're at the end of the, uh, end of the lane. 
If they jumped into the rift, it would be minus one point. There are a total of 20 points on each side. It doesn't say 20 here, but if it, if we did actually have a rift deficit of, you know, five minutes, it would say 15 to 20. Alright. I need to focus on hitting these guys here. I've never played a ch or a hero, so, you know, like, such a little health. Like, this guy probably has 600 health. The, oh god, the hearts or whatever. Oh god, the rats, never mind. Alright, this is my tier 2 upgrade. Maternal Instinct allies your heal 20% faster near your rift shard. That's, that's the rift. Okay, I'll show you the rift. This person's slow. Alright, that is the rift, and if I walked up to it, it would heal me. And if I got T, it would heal my allies 20% faster, which I don't really think is that useful. Alright, increase summon speed for Rift Shard by 20%. That is... that. And I don't really know what that is. Oh, oh, they were talking about... This is a new hero, and they were talking about this. You place it somewhere, and you get a ton of damage, and you get a ton of health, and all that. I'm not going to get into that, because that's complicated. I don't even know that much about it myself. And now the last one is... Oh. I accidentally hotkeyed one of them. I got G. So let me... Oh, sorry. Let me go to tier 2. I accidentally got that one. Which is whatever. I haven't even tried to get Rift Shard yet, so it's fine. Rift Way. Your allies can use your Rift Shard to teleport back to the Rift. That would have been really useful. But I accidentally hit G, which is a hotkey. You gotta be aware of that, you know, my fault, whatever. Alright. And also, this is another player. This is the only player in the game. Everyone else is a bot. Which is, like I said earlier, the reason I'm playing bots is because not that many people are playing the game. And the two games before this, there was actually no humans. But, like, everyone was a bot, even on my team. It was just me, four bots, versus five bots. And so, in the entire, you know, North American server, me and him were the only people queued up. That doesn't mean we were the only two people necessarily playing. But we were the only two people that queued up today. Or like at the moment. Alright, this is their war camp. This is like the entrance. This is where the enemy minions are gonna spawn and come one out to our lane. And one of our guardians has fallen, which is right there. They've broken through a gate! Alright, um, I need to go help our team defend this. Oh yeah. Here on uh, the basics, I'll go back to the basics. So some some heroes and some heroes are offensive and some heroes are defensive. I am a defensive hero. The main reason I'm a defensive hero is because the bots don't really know how to defend at all, and I recently had to lose simply because I tried to go offense and the AIs just didn't. They simply did not go to this lane, and so the enemy won by just reinforcing the lane. There are enemies in the rift room. All right, and also yeah, this rift will attack the uh, approaching minions and all that, but they only attack, you know, once every four seconds or something. So it's not it's not something you can really rely on, but it is a backup. And this is a guardian. Guardians basically just attack and they'll heal you and they'll uh, give you mana and health if you stay close to them. I believe they recently nerfed their health. Or no, that was that was only the health on the We've first one. By twenty two percent. I just watched the patch note video, so I'm not I'm not that big of a nerd, but our guardian has I fallen. do remember those things. Alright, our guardian has fallen, the one I was just looking at. I'm gonna go back and help defend this lane. Because our other lane has all of our guardians left in this one. Only has one. And that one has low HP too. Alright, let's try and use this one. Oh, you gotta cast this channel. Alright. So as you can see, I am still somewhat new to this game. Actually, I didn't even cast the rift. Alright, but I am somewhat new to this game, so don't take everything I say to the heart. But yes, I, I do know the basics of the game. Alright, we're gonna go back to our normal lane. Or actually, I'm gonna go back to the lane that really needs my help and place down some traps. So I, I don't think there are any traps, really. Alright. Place 
this here, here, right there, here, and I'll do some spike straps so you can Just see those like old times. And generally, you will have walls. So much have a barricade, barricade, barricades where you can path the minions. If you know any uh, tower defense game, you know how you have to path the minions so the that you can focus down, focus them down in a certain area, so it makes it easier. And so that's what those are used for. I simply forgot to have that, or to add that to my thing, because I just, it's not, not really a big deal, because you know it's a bot game, it just looks whatever. But generally, if I wanted to be the best I could, I would have one one. Run, barricade. So I keep on attacking these. The reason I came over to this lane and not helping the other lane is because the other human is defending that lane, as you can see, it's on the map. Okay. Alright. And I have another upgrade. Plus 50 to maximum mana, minus 10 to maximum health. I don't want to do that because I already have a very, very little health. Dead useful. Allies can use a rift to teleport to you during feign death. Oh yeah, feign death. If I press this, minions basically will attack me. I don't want to get to that. And plus 15% damage to boss minions and large minions. I'm gonna get that because I really need to defend better. Or actually, I might try and go rogue and <laughs> ruin my defensive ways. Yeah, let's go rogue. Let's upgrade that some. And let's go. Alright, now I'm gonna show you the other side of the game offense. And that was some lag. Alright, so here, here is their defense. And they have a crazy defense, jeez. Alright, I might die very quickly if another hero comes this way. Alright, let's try and set up this rift thing. Alright, this is the rift. Alright, it gives me increased damage. Now my minions are gonna go attack this guardian, just like the way it would happen on my side. And now, sometimes the minions run past the guardian, I don't know how that works out, and I need to run because I will die very fast. Alright, see, he's still behind me. Alright. Our, our guardian has fallen. We may see some of their minions get into our rift. And so I can properly show you what the deficit looks like. Oh, I should not have done that. I should not have done that. That's good. It's kind of hard to decide if you want to open the gate and go help your guardian out, or if you want to let it close and not let the minions through the gate. So, I mean, it's it's a it's. I don't really know which one's better, and it's probably no real answer, but that's what happened there. Alright, let's upgrade this. And yeah, I'm kind of bored, so I'm more offensive. And these, see, they will not pop on me because I am a hero and they will not do any damage to me. Some fire arrows. But there are some traps that will actually go for the heroes, and they're called glory seekers, but they are actually changing that to hero seekers because they, it's confusing to new players or something. And as you saw in the beginning of that, when I started attacking him, he was ignoring the damage because there were no minions here. Alright. And now the minions are going to go past him, so I'm going to go ahead and go past him. That is a glory seeker. It will only attack the heroes. As you can see, it's only going for me and letting these minions pass. Alright, this is some lag. I hope it's just a server, because I believe my recording is still going fine. This red thing means the guardian's attacking me. There are enemies in the guardian's hurt. Oh, hurdled. Okay, okay. You see this? Eleven. That means that nine of their minions have gone in. Okay. Alright, it's gonna be seven now. Six. Alright, I don't we're not gonna lose here. Uh, I should probably go back and defend, sorry. I just wanted to show you all the other side of the game. Alright, 
Alright, I'm gonna go up and get healed. But as you can see, Sits. We have Sits Rift points, which means that 14 of their minions have entered our rift. And if Sits more minions go in, we lose. Right there. Right there. Let's try Perfect. and get some defenses right up. Alright, this is gonna be kinda like a final stand here. Alright, just keep auto attacking. Alright, it's very important to use your leadership to upgrade your board camps even as a defender. Like, I have 2000, so I could go put some points into board camps. But also at the bottom left, you can see the little notches are every 1000 points you need to upgrade the board camp. And I don't have actually enough to upgrade it completely, but it is a major thing that you need to go do. Alright, I think we're gonna lose here. There's not really much I can do about these two points. Right. And at the end, you could kinda just jump around. It's pretty fun. Alright, that was Orcs Must Die Unchained. I hope you enjoyed it. It's currently in beta, and if you, you know, you logged in, or if you signed up to get the beta code, you'll get it within a day. They're not, they're not very picky on who gets the beta codes and who doesn't get the beta codes. And alright, I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, like, whatever you feel like. I'm out.